Hey guys, Zach Lego here. Welcome back to Cooking Companions. There's more to the story, apparently. I thought it was, we go in basement, we kill Karen, she die, we credit roll, and then we're done. I didn't expect there to be more after the credits. Yeah, my bad. I didn't know that there was more. So we're going to be doing another episode of this. Reading through this. Which I'm assuming these are the chompettes. I'm assuming what happened is they got, like, killed. And then somehow they just took their spirit and shoved them into some veggies. I think that's what happens. Not ma no, just maybe this random piece of food. I think that's what happened. Anyways. These are all the chompettes of Britain. Oh, snowman kid. Children. Yeah, you're freaking cool. Not corn, you're fr you're freaking bread. Let's <laughs> mm. flip and search the cabin, see if you can find any food for seats. And I also literally just got an achievement. That's cool. I'll take the bedroom. We have room to me. Right now, I'll search the kitchen. No need to help me. You sure? Of course, I know exactly where to look first. I got the Zaka Payne Junior Baker Ward member. Slime. All right, everyone. Let's move out. Also, we're already going to talk about how. There was a supposed psycho that was chasing them. That might be an issue. Tutorial help the team by searching the cabin for supplies. Your bomb is Selena, Olga, and Bullock is unbreakable. Focus on exploring the cabin. You only get one choice to choose wisely. We want to help out first. Kitchen. She said she didn't need help, so I'm not going to help you. You don't need your help, so you're going to be alone. <laughs> Living room or bedroom? There's still that thing sticking out of the floor from before, so I'm gonna go in the bedroom. Is that thing still sticking out of the floor? It is. I never found out what that was. Hey, Rhina. Bone sticking out of the floorboard? Yeah, disgusting. Is it a chicken bone? I can't find it now? Probably lose my lunch. Maybe I don't want to search first. I'm assuming that's a human bone. Floors, furniture, stop searching the bedroom. Floors. First check under the bed. Long strands of white hair covered in dust under here. Disgusting. The hole into the table. Things are dropped completely into darkness. The leg? You have a coin or something we can drop down this hole? It's just my allowance money. Sounds great, give me one of your coins. I don't know. There's only one coin. No problem, the leg. Watch your step over there, okay? You got it. Boys again? What do you need to nightstand? Something even pressed against the wall. It's a bobby pin. Take the bobby pin with you? Sure. I got a pin! <laughs> Check it out, bobby pin. Her hair or something? No oh, leg. Keep checking. Expect the bone sticking out the floor. It's definitely a chicken bone, no leg. Carlos, can you see anything else under there? The face of the floorboard. Or a pile of chicken bones underneath the floor. I mean, very far under here without a lantern. There's hundreds of chicken bones down here. Maybe some other bones too, I'm not sure. Disgusting. Turn up beneath the floorboard? Sure. So put your entire arms in the floorboard. The bones are completely dry. Others have sticky, moldy residue on them. Residue on them. You pinch your nose with the other hand to avoid smelling anything foul. Get a bobby pin. Hey, leg. Check the mouse hole. Let's we'll check. I'm gonna swept the key under there. I'm losing a finger for a key. It's my suit leg, not rats. Side step, rummaging around. Your face and forward, looking inside the mouse hole. Some soggy newspaper. Didn't find anything. It's a revolting mouse bathroom. Rose, where's an unuka on a Friday night? I'm going to puke. Disgusting. Okay, furniture. The table first. Find anything? Find anything? Yeah, table. Okay. Furniture again. Okay, I'm just gonna stop you. Okay, you just stay here. I'm gonna skip some of this. This doesn't seem important. Why are we doing a flashback? <laughs> I don't care about your story. I just want to see something happen, all right? I want to get scared. I don't care about flashbacks. I don't care. I don't care about any of this. Hey, isn't this the one stream that I had that one dream of where I got, like, shoved down the stream and drowned? That's a cool dream I had. Remember that from the last episode? Or maybe the episode before that? That was cool. Man, let's look at the fish. Oh, man, I go fish here all the time. And I don't care about your backstory. You're probably gonna die until you get turned into an onion. <laughs> I'm getting achievement after achievement after achievement after achievement after frickin' achievement. 
Nice. Hmm? I had to make a shell cut in his hand. I'm away from the river. I don't know what strange sight. Head back to the. Is that me? The main character? Is that me? I think that's me. Frick is this music? Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> Weird frickin' music. Hey team, find anything? Some old toys in the drawer. Really old toys. Bullock? Alright. Alright, there's a toy ball on the couch. Let me see that. I'm gonna make this bolt for him. Where is it? Oh wow, look, another. Where is it? One and only. Still be alive here? Seeing him again and bring Grandma back from the brink. I have to find him. Greed. We need to search this cabin top to bottom. Find Razel and bring him back to Zakopane. Where are these places? You got it, Selena. Bullock, Oleg, come with me. Let's look around outside. Rhina? Look around the cabin and try and find any clues to where Razel is. Psychopath could still be outside in the woods. Hear any of us yell or scream. Find us, okay? Of course, Selena. Thanks for be listening for you as well. I'll be fine. Crew? Let's move out. Okay, y'all get the frick out. Get out of here. Selena, Bullock, and Oleg leave you to search the cabin. There's something in there. I think I saw something in there. Who's there? That's her replies back. It sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Walk over to investigate. Creepiness, creepiness. Scare me. Scare me! Come on! Hello! Scare me. What are you? <laughs> Hello, I say you the cabana. <laughs> now, we'll say it's a romante in perio. Say a rojo de ese lugar. Amante cuadro. E nunca volte. Hello, me peque. Pecu e me separo dos meus pais. Por todo el oceano e me traux para aquí. Uh, devorar to those voices. Fuzan, sign. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, na, niayo, niayo. Fal polones, muito bem. You devia parar de fisar tagarelando. Aqui, pique isso. Drawing is pushed out of the cabinet. Ele fez alguns desenhos antes de morrer. De isso, okay. What was that for? Door. Someone used a piece of coal to draw this. These bars of a cage? Something in that door. Hmm. Take the drawing with you. I can't freaking read you. Oh, they're gone. Okay! And that was that. That was your Spanish lesson for today. Good job. <laughs> Get your Spanish lesson. I think somebody's creaky. <laughs> or why? I want to get scared, but this game is really good at being scary. So then I'm like, I want to get scared, but I also don't want to get scared. Yeah, I also do want to get scared. If that makes any sense. Right now, saw something weird down the hill. It's like an old fence of bones over the ground. I got my animal skulls, but I couldn't tell from the distance. Some weird whispering before we got back to the front door. Find anything? Don't believe me if I told you. Strange whispers coming out from under the kitchen sink. Whispers? A ghost, Rhina? Not sure. Couldn't have said any of the words. Hmm. Ghost, huh? Bullock attempts to lighten the mood a little bit. I'm gonna raise a joke for you. The ghosts like pouring over their food. Bullock. Like, give up? Gravy! <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's probably just the creaking of the cabin right now. No such thing as ghosts. It seems pretty real, so we know. Well, if you see it again, let me know. The fence outside was absolutely terrifying. We can't let our guard down here. Yeah. Can, can we not split up anymore? I'm scared of getting separated now. Of course they're like. We're a team, and teams stick together. It's thick and thin. Rain or shine. Feast and famine. Alright, Selene. I just don't want to lose any of you, like Brazel. That won't happen when we're together, Leg. Bullock, you're a night owl. Can you stay guard while we sleep? Of course. Thanks, Bullock. Leg and I will take the bedroom. You okay with the living room? 
Yeah. Thank you, Bull. Wake up, wake us up if you see or hear anything. You got it. Buck and Swain head to the bedroom, opening the door fully behind them. They get down on the couch and quickly fall asleep. Nice nap. Close your eyes, but cannot stop thinking about the butcher of Zakopane. Sir Victim probably had it at the worst. Stabbed in the stomach like the other two, but this one was different. The body was missing both ears, so investigators concluded it was a copycat to a series of grisly murders from years ago. That person would take someone's ears. The victim's family and neighbors searched the murder scene top to bottom and the alleyways outside. All they can find was a broken window that the butcher used to gain injury. It was a mystery that nobody in Zakopane could solve. So Celine, Oleg, Bullock, and you teamed up to find the killer. Celine was naturally the leader, pawing out vantage points on dusty maps her grandfather had. Bullock brought snacks and what he called emergency rations, which was usually crusted bread from his pocket. Bullock was, a, wasn't, was able to get investigation tips from his grandmother, a former detective, went after telling her it was to find Razel. Your investigations lasted more than a year, often getting to crime scenes quicker than two investigator, town investigators. It was a strange dream. Found the body early, so early the blood is still leaving the body. The greasy hair man makes eye contact with you, wiping the knife on his vest. Look for a way to escape, but you're trapped in the alleyway. So he walks towards you, forcing a laugh that comes out in unnatural staggered segments. He gets closer and knows his pupils are absolutely enormous. So as he as his has as his brings the knife up <laughs> What? His face peels apart by the lips, screeching pain agony, waking a cold sweat. Whoa! I didn't like that. I didn't like that. <laughs> didn't like that one. The other ones were fine, but I didn't like that one. Wake up, everyone. Oh, look, it's like 3 a.m. Heard something outside. It's one of those crows. He never shut up. It's him. Huh? Celine? It's him. What's the plan? So he makes a group secret hand signal. Only whispering is allowed now. Okay, okay, pull like, pull like eyes on the doors and windows. He needs to inside, run out the front door, step downstairs. Downstairs. There's less room down there. You need to manipulate the lights down there. Find the light bulb pulley, and when he gets close, turn off the off turn off the lights. He's got that knife, so run for the front door when there's an opening. There isn't a working light down there. Eyes can see better in the dark than him. Run circles around him while he's blind down there. It's not a chance. Your chickens before they hatch are like. Look, can you outrun them? Of course. Alright, do you see anything out the window? I don't like the sound. It sounds like that one sound from Amori that I really don't like. <laughs> I hate that I keep hearing. Maybe it's a turn yet, but you can see the storm clouds from a distance. Maybe I'll get too money from him. Let's see coming through one of the windows. My glass is thick. If you tried to break, everyone would hear it. Remember, I built this cabin. Definitely was here for a long haul. See anything right now? Nothing. While keeping watch, I found this in the bedroom. Here. What is this? Child. Table. Wow. What the hell is this? Did Razel make this? Had to have been him. He found the body stuffed into the barrel of that creep sauce and ran. Who would do something like that? A monster. That's right, Rena. It's the last time we saw him. That was perfect time for the lightning, but what was that noise? Oh! Hi! He's a staircase now! As he runs to the staircase, you see him standing by the front door. He wipes his eyes with his sleeve, completely drenched from head to foot. He tips a smile, but it looks completely out of character. So he's dying breathing, making it to the staircase safely. Such intense music. We're not moving. We are still not moving. We're not making any progress. We are not moving. You got the basement key, lock the door behind you. There, that should slow him down. And can you lead? Of course not. Oh, he's determined. Oh, he'll be right behind you. Near descent. Oh, no, How many achievements am I getting? It goes in the graveyard tonight. It's too dark out. 
I think the adults catches us faster than them. I think. Why not? You game to be the ghost first? Why me? Because the eyes can see in the dark the best. Perfect ghost. Swing. Sure, I'll go hide first. Hey, leg? Yeah? So where them bulk with a stomach full of hearing last time. You get the pace this time. And trust me, it won't happen again. Are, are we just gonna go split up while there's this freaking psychopath with a knife just chasing us around? I trust you, leg. Everyone laughs. I find some equipment at the sawmill. It takes a group two hours to find you. And you know, it's Ghost in Grey, right? You've already tagged Bullock and Oleg. Ah! Eh. Too fast, Rhino. Nobody sneaks up on me. Nobody. What's going on? Nothing, I'm just remembering something. Oh, that was just a memory. Bullock and Oleg went ahead. There's no time for this. We need to go. Can't bother them if we didn't descent. I was about to say, there's a freaking like psycho chasing after us, and we're just gonna be like, hey, let's play this game in the basement where we split up. <laughs> Maybe searching for the key. What an idiot. Oh. It appears to be causing that much damage. Oh, you kind of white switch down there? Yes. Get in position, we'll be right down. The locked door is keeping him busy. The door is pretty old, though. Did you see the holes in it? He's coming down! Run! I was trying to see further down the staircase. Can't hear him. Alright now. It's best to introduce you. That's okay. Let me show everybody. So, Rhino will bite. What? Are we. This dude's like right behind me. Keep in mind, he's like right there. Keep in mind, he's like. I turn around like a few like. Dozen, like a dozen steps behind me, he's like right there, chasing after me with a knife, and I'm just like, ah, oh, this nice flashback of like the past. Just look at the past, see what happened. I'm like in the process of him, like he's about to like stab me in the face. Uh, it's okay. That's his great boy. That's why everyone give him a little time. It's the words grace puns. I mean, every single one grandma told him. I yeah, bought me his book. Here's those is 500 pages long. Yeah, <laughs> we're on a last of the race. I'm joining a nice meal together with Bullock's family. Now it's Joseph laughter and dolls and and the dolls shake their head in agony. His joy is infectious, making Zaka pain a better city for everyone. Except for one. Here, it's swung down again. Swing a razel. How about him? I keep remembering him. See, I, he. Crew, let's keep going. Continue downward. Whoa! Whoa! What is this room? Cages? Okay, what the hell is this? What? Why isn't working? I'm gonna find a weapon in here. Let's keep going down. I can see a light further down the staircase. We can actually, like, see what's in the basement. That's cool. Shoe sticks to the floor at the bottom. You can barely make out the light to the door on the right. East? Three of the doors. North, south, and west. Don't tell me I have to choose which door to go first. So I'm gonna try the door to the north first. Locked. This room is tiny. How are we going to get around him? We scared. Try the doors and see if we can lock it from the inside. Which way, Rhino? I'm about to get us killed. <laughs> I'm about to get us bodied. Okay, let's just uh, save that. Save that right there. I'm about to get us bodied. Use the bobby pins. Ooh, I got some bobby pins. Use them. Oh, that's a loosest lock. Let me try to use these bobby pins. Hurry, Rhino. Work the two bobby pins. You lock the door to the north. Rhino, let's move out. Swing the door open. What the frick? What is this? What? Right by the layer. It's coming down the stairs. We just sell our room. Running into the room into the east. I did that for an achievement? I did all of that. I I grabbed those bobby pins just for uh, achievement. <laughs> That's what that was for. <laughs> just to look at a room and be like, oh well, okay, we're going east. What about south or west? What about those two? Leave us alone. Also, yeah, he's right here. Left the knives upstairs. Four against one. Leave with your life. <laughs> 
Say hi to Razel for me. <laughs> oh, he got body. He got like sliced up. What? I think I was right. <laughs> Why? Shut the drawer. Wee, cabbage! Oh, cabbage, onion, bread. Being held back by their human emotions. In a few months more, at the very least. I'm in no rush. Let's leave now. Shut the drawer. I have to explore the cabin. See where those whispers are coming from. Can I leave the drawer? No. Thank you. Want to come with, Raspberry? Going nowhere with you. <laughs> poor, poor Raspberry. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's that. I just realized. Okay, I feel like this confirms it. But also, what happened? So the dude had the knife. And then there was slicing. So, I mean, somebody came up behind and was like, I got him, I'm gonna body him. And then, so they killed him, and the kids were like, yeah, you killed him. And I'm assuming he then proceeded to kill the other four kids. Is that what happened? Well, I don't know. Does that mean the killer that was chasing after them is Potato? Welcome. Hey, a few annual Chompack comedy competitions since last time. Wanna be the judge this year? Ignore them. Some fascinating stuff by using the mouse holes. I need to explain what the hell this is. Oh god. You fattening him up? Or are you scaring the hell out of him while you hesitated? Take the basement drawing with you. Never forgive you for this. Shut the drawer. Wee, it's time! Now pets sound off! Onion. Never fear, onion is here! My cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Raspberry! <laughs> Always marry Raspberry! <laughs> Tato? Tato? Nothing to get me now. Leave me alone. Well, I'm waiting to escape, Potato. I need to leave at the same time. I'm not leaving the cabin. Tato, please. Tato, we want to see her. No. Harris tries whispering, but you can clearly hear every word. Release us. Just play along and maybe they'll pity us. Yeah? I'm working with them. But right now? Pity them. Old, disgusting, foul smelling. That's enough. Those words cause a regression to stir inside of you. Keeping these intruders around might be entertaining for now. So I have to draw clothes, giving them time to stew on their thoughts. Think companion, chop at oranges. Oh, so now we're done. Are we done now? Because last time, last time you gave me credits and then gave me more story. So yeah, what I think that was, that was a whole chop at oranges thing. So what that was, I think was some kind of like DLC that just like came out a bit ago. And because I never played the game before, I played through the game my first attempt, and then it hit me with the DLC right away. I think that's what happened. So I was right about that, so then that means for the Chompets, cabbage, onion, bread, and strawberry are all, like, are the four kids. And then the potato was the dude that was chasing them down. Be like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Ah, oh, stab you, stab, stab you, stab, stab you, stab you, you. And then he died. I'm assuming we came in and killed him. And the kids were like, hey, you killed him, good job. And then we're like, oh, I'm gonna kill you now. You have a strange nightmare.
wake up. I said, wake up. Oh wow, this is actually 8-bit, okay. The others are causing you to become weak. I need to get you back to your, you back to normal. Less talking, less hesitation. Especially if someone's trying to become stronger than you. They used to make you upset, right? Keeping an eye on you. You ask for how long? This rate? Never. You cough profusely, covering potato in a fine mist. Beyond disgusting. So then, I'm ready to fight back. Push and punish the spirit that made your life a living hell. Let me save the game. Sure. Perfect. Let's give them no quarter. Close your eyes again. Let's begin to traverse the abyss. Get your muscles getting ready for what's next. Welcome to Nightmare Mode. If you survive, you will gain some additional insight to the world of Cooking Companions, as well as unlocking New Game Plus at Chompet's only event. This mode is mostly just a joke, so don't take it seriously. In the main menu, you select New Game, you can immediately jump to this mode and other ones. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompet's Cabin Courses, a Chompet's only event free of humans. The true Cooking Companions experience this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. You still need to max out relationships, don't worry. You get the opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. You should really make a manual save right now, don't hesitate. Alright. Thank you for getting this far. Your bravery is, bravery is commendable, will be rewarded. Thanks for playing, Dear Doom Studio. Oh, almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. I don't want to do this now, I'm going to do this next episode. Ha ha! You know what I can do? Exit to the title screen! <laughs>